Hello and welcome to another Planet Destiny exotic weapon review. Today we'll be taking a look at the exotic scout rifle, Boolean Gemini. It's obtained by completing the Lost and Found quest from Petra after completing a few other quest lines from the Reef. It's one of the easiest exotics to obtain in the Taken King since it really only requires completing the story type missions. It's in that perfect middle ground for all of its stats. Comparing it to the Hung Jury from Dead Orbit, you really don't have any reason to use the Scout if you're going by stats alone. So why should you bother using this? Well, the answer lies in the muzzle perk, so let's get into that. First up, we have Accurized Ballistics. More range and impact, increased recoil. Smooth Ballistics. Increased recoil, boost to range. And finally, the reason to use this rifle, Aggressive Ballistics. This is the only Vision of Confluence style Scout with Aggressive Ballistics in the game. Why is that good? Well, for one thing, it ups the damage by 5% and makes it a 3-shot headshot kill in PvP on low armor targets. It is fortunate that this muzzle also has the easiest to control recoil of the three. It has a straight up and down recoil pattern with an ever so slight left to right bounce. If you're keeping the sights on the target, the natural aim assistance will correct for the recoil and you can chain headshots easily. Moving on to the first tier perk, we have unflinching. It clearly does make the gun easier to fire by making your sights return back to center quicker. Wanting to use the perk really comes down to how much you value that. Personally, it's nice, but I'm not going to miss it when I switch to other weapons. Unflinching does kind of solidify this weapon, though, into a PvP type of gun. Combining the increase to damage from aggressive ballistics with the unflinching talent makes this gun into a pretty big threat in long-range scenarios. Moving on to the stat mod perks, we have single point sling, switch weapons faster and move quicker while aiming, hammer forged, improved range and accuracy. Finally, we have perfect balance, which increases stability. Perfect balance is going to be the best choice here. Single point sling could be okay for those who want to swap weapons often in PvP, but again, I just find perfect balance to give you a better shooting experience. It also makes aggressive ballistics even easier to control, almost completely taking away that side to side bounce. The final perk is actually similar to another row of stat mods. The one-way perk will give you bonus agility on precision kills and stacks up to three times. The or another perk grants bonus armor on non-precision kills and also stacks up to three times. Both perks will last for 15 seconds but can be refreshed, so as long as you're activating the perk it will last indefinitely. Choosing one of these is largely going to come down to playstyle. Since I usually already run high agility builds on my Warlock and Hunter, I'm going to choose the Armor Boost perk. That doesn't mean that the Agility Boost perk isn't substantial though on an already high agility builds. In this comparison, my Hunter is running max agility. Look at the walk speeds. On the left is normal, and on the right is with a 3 stack of the perk. As you can see, it takes about a second off the walking time down the hallway. I couldn't get any substantial numbers on the armor perk though in PvP, since it would usually fall off halfway through testing. Hey Bungie, could you please add custom games so I can test this stuff easier? I could go on talking about this perk, but I think it's just best to let it fall into the conversation during PvE and PvP sections. In PvE, the Boolean isn't really going to do anything spectacular. It exists as a great all-around weapon to use, and it served me well during my very first Oryx kill. The armor buff really came in handy there. Aggressive Ballistics, the 19 round magazine, and the armor buff are the main draws to using this weapon. While Aggressive Ballistics does up the damage, I would really prefer some other perks that can help modify my cooldowns like Grenadier or Army of One, or even Firefly to help spread some damage around. This gun is really going to excel in dealing damage to single targets. The armor and agility buffs are going to come in handy in very select circumstances. If there are a ton of adds and it's generally very chaotic, then I found the armor buff to be the most helpful since it will help dampen some of the incoming damage. The agility buff is nicer for heavily movement based encounters. The prove your worth encounter in the raid comes to mind since you're killing a bunch of stuff and then having to move around to a new area. Again though, that fight is more about defending so it might be best just to go for armor to increase your survivability. This gun does allow you to mess around with your stats a bit. If you're a titan that typically goes for max armor and recovery, then you could gain from getting a boost to your agility every now and then. Same thing for hunters that go for low armor. Pop on that armor perk and you get the best of both worlds. PvP is where this gun is going to start showing its strengths. As I mentioned before, aggressive ballistics can potentially lead to a 3-shot headshot kill on low armor targets. While that won't happen often since a majority of the player base runs max armor, it's still nice to have it happen every once in a while if your aim is good. Unflinching helps you keep your shots where you want them to go when under fire, and might even win a few gunfights for you. 
the armor or agility stat buffs are nice in PvP, but you will really only be able to keep them up in the 6v6 playlist where you have more opportunity to kill stuff, and even then it's rare to go into a fight and come out with the buff still on. Half the time you'll kill something with a precision shot and you'll have the armor buff on, or vice versa. I kept the armor buff on in PvP because chances are if I'm killing people with body shots, I'm under a lot of pressure and I can't always take the time to land headshots. It's just the safer option overall. Moving on to cosmetics, this gun has a pretty interesting design. It definitely feels like a weapon that should have been in House of Wolves due to its styling. The sounds of it firing remind me of a well-oiled typewriter, so when I'm committing mass genocide with this gun, I can just imagine myself writing an angry letter to Comcast or some other company that I dislike. My one gripe with the weapon is its sights. This is entirely personal preference here, but I feel like they're too crowded and possibly off-center a little bit. The iron sights combined with the narrow red dot style sight just doesn't make for easy shooting if your target is moving around a lot. Again though, that's just my opinion. In closing here, my biggest critique of the gun is that if you're using it for a specific task, then there's already a better exotic out there for you. In both PvP and PvE, if you want something to help increase your survivability, then Red Death will just straight up heal you, as will any weapon with life support. If you're looking to increase your movement speed, then Mita Multi-Tool is going to be better since it's always active, as opposed to needing to keep killing things. The phrase, Jack of All Trades, Master of None, really does apply to the Boolean Gemini. You're probably wanting me to answer that age-old question of, should I bother using this exotic? Well, here's my long-winded answer. If you're okay with having a weapon that can be good at a specific task, but never really excel at it, then this is the gun for you. It is fortunate that the shooting experience, while hampered by the sight of it, is still really good. You can use this gun to success in any fashion, which is why I think Bungie added it in as an easy-to-obtain exotic. You can get it early on, figure out how it plays to your strengths, and then find a better weapon that hones in on your playstyles further. So, as a concise answer to that question, yes, you should use this gun, but only as a stepping stone to a weapon that's more in line with what you're looking for. I hope you guys found this video helpful. This has been Patrick Casey with Planet Destiny, your guide to the Destiny universe.